Hey guys, welcome back to Data Plays. This is episode 20 of Prison Architect. What are we going to be doing today? Well, we're actually going to be working on the maximum security wing, which we've been putting all the walls up, even flooring. We've been doing all that sort of stuff. Our prison is running quite nicely with 72 prisoners. Actually, we've got to unpause it here. And um, we're going to fast forward a little bit there. So everything is going quite well. Um, no escape since uh, the last episode. Crikey, that was bad. We see we've got we've got literally metal floor down now to try prevent them digging out. Now the armory, we're going to have to probably replace the door there. I'm really worried about some nut job getting in there and stealing the shotguns and ooh, that would be bad. And um, yeah, we've got ooh, see check this out. We got some armed guards patrolling now. Yeah, so we got we got we got everything covered. We definitely got everything covered. So. What we got to be doing, first off, I think we're going to be working on the kitchen area, then go back. Probably work on the power a bit as well. Sort of work on both things at the same time. Nothing really to report when it comes to any of our uh, grants or anything else. It's still like 50%, which is unfortunate. So anyway, I think we're going to start off by building the foundation for the kitchen. So this is obviously not big enough for the kitchen, I'm pretty sure, actually. We better double check that. So we've already got four tables and ten benches in stock. So we don't really have to pay for anything else, but... Yeah, see, as you can see, it is going to be a pretty small kitchen for this giant wing here. I think it's probably not a good idea. Where are you running off to, Crikey? He's he's gonna do some raking. Oh, he's gonna do some raking. So yeah, we've got to we've got to, we've got to definitely build this a lot bigger. I'm gonna take it back a little bit as well. So we're gonna just uh, what we'll do is take it probably back. Actually, this is just all bloody. We'll just do the whole lot there. There's gonna be no more. 2.8 thousand, fuck it. Alright, there's going to be no more of the side slits here. Then we can just turn this whole section into the kitchen area. Um, also, oh, just, we just got to keep an eye on things. I'm a little bit worried about more escapees happening, which is obviously a really bad thing. Um, food? Food seems to be going well at the moment. Um, that, ooh, hello. I think we got that picture before. I can't remember what picture is what nowadays. Oh, there's another picture in here. Oh, yeah, okay. So, this area here, still don't know what I'm going to actually do with it, which is kind of a bummer. Let's fast forward a little bit. I'm trying to... We've got $46,000 left after these guys put uh, these new walls in. And I'm going to go ahead and start putting in the objects. So, we've still, as I said, we've still got some tables and benches left over so as long as it doesn't destroy too much of the wall we should be right there we go it's fast forwarding so we got to be real careful um because there's so many prisoners over here we can't just go off and not keep an eye on things so we'll just be coming back and forwards back and forwards but we need it to be on fast only because we need the cash flow um all right so let's go ahead and get the tables and benches installed so i'm going to probably go for uh, this long ways it's a table there we go, and just, yeah, we've got tons of benches and tables, which is cool. Well, see, that really annoys me. What is the deal with that? Why is there a gap there? Makes no freaking sense, does it? Well, that was a boo-boo. There. All right, so I'm saying, I'm thinking about six, seven or eight tables. We'll just do six tables. Gap. There we go. So we can put some at the bottom as well, so we can just literally match the top one. Without taking too much guesswork here. Okay, we're gonna have to start paying for the tables now. There we go. Alright, tables are paid. What the hell? I think I royally screwed that up, didn't I? Yes, I did. Hang on. Go away, go away, go away. Alright. See, that looks right. That looks better. Alright, put the table in the gap there. Not in the gap there. Oh, I've got a huge gap there. Okay, so that makes sense. Makes a little bit more sense now. See, those tables are just so wonky. Very, very bad. Um, Alright, so we've got three tables. Do you want to go for a fourth? Do you think a fourth? So we have literally eight sets of tables, just in case we do have a lot of prisoners in here. So we'll just go ahead and do that. There we go. Same with the top here. Alright, so we got those in. We, can get, we need to get rid of the planning here. There we go. That should take care of that. Oh, oh, oh. My bad. Click and run buttons there. Okay, so now we need to concentrate on a serving table, which is right there. And I think we're just going to go plomp it probably in the middle here, maybe. 
Yeah, I think so. So what we'll do is put a wall up first because we need to design this kitchen here. Um, so bring it back a couple. There we go. And what we need to do is I'm trying to keep the original area here like intact. So get rid of what oh, that's planning, Daddy. Your Fruit Loop. Get rid of that. All right. So what I'm trying to do is keep everything like the same here at the end here. Um, okay, so kitchen's going to be in here, obviously. So what I need to do is object surfing serving table. Plop that bad boy down in here. Top, bottom, does it really matter? Not really. There we go. And what we can do is just demolish, um, demolish a bit of wall here, like down here. So that's going to be where the staff door is. So what we're going to do is just, th this time around I'm going to put double cookers in, just in case. So we're going to literally put two cookers in here, probably right next to the door. That seems to be always the good spot to put it. We're going to put a fridge in as well. So put a fridge up here, which I don't still don't know which way it properly goes. I think that's the way it goes. That's the back end. It doesn't matter. We can flip it around if people point out it's the wrong blooming way. Um, sink, because that's the last thing we need for this area. And we can just sort of put it in plop it in like that I think yeah like that let's let's give it let's give it a couple let's make sure he's got some space to work or for the future for some space if we have to expand so let's put the sink there so now we got we can go ahead and put the blooming wall in and now we got the kitchen what are you doing up here mate what are you doing running around like a blooming fruit like, what the blood come here what the blooming hell click got ya ha huh. can I send him somewhere Get over there. Are you high? Seriously. Go away. Can we punish him? Like, literally, let's, like, send him solitary. For, like, send him a lockdown for six hours. Sorry. Ha ha. Okay, so there we go. We got our kitchen in. I think what we're going to do now is grab some objects. We're going to put some big, big doors straight off the bat. There and there. This is, this is max only. So that big doors are going in. Um, we need to put staff doors in here as well. Um, we'll open the door for now because so they don't have to come all the way up here until we got the area pretty much, you know, running. So we've got two big doors there and I think I might put a couple of big doors down here just in case the worst should happen. Now, outside the kitchen I also want to put some metal detectors. Like, I'm going to go nuts on the metal detectors this time around. So there we go, put that in there. Objects, metal... There we go, metal detector, one there and one there, straight out of the door, one there and one there, literally. So literally every room they come out of I think we'll have probably metal detectors this time around. So this is our max security here, as you can see we've got plating absolutely out the Yazoo. Let me come over here now, go to utilities, and we're going to hook the power in to each other now, so we'll go ahead and do that, there you go. Where's the center of this building? Okay, so it's roughly there. So we can literally just run straight down the middle. So this whole area has got there, instead of using that, we're using a different... Wow. 38,000 left. Oh, how's everybody doing? Crikey, we should be keeping an eye on everything as well. So everybody's asleep right now. What I'm going to do is perform a shakedown, which is probably not the best of things to do all the time, but we need to do that. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Check it out. Um, we got... Does that say 90% now? So that looks good. Um, shakedown. Alright, so now it's a shakedown. We're literally going to search every single cell. Make sure we find everything. So we've got drugs and stuff going on in the min sec here. So literally... Whoa, we're not doing too bad. Just booze and drugs, really. What's up here? Oh, mobile phone up in the min sec. Alright, so that's good. We're going to have that search. It's going to pee off some prisoners. I know that for a fact, but... We kind of need it to do it anyway. Oh, is that a shovel? No way! No way, look! Do we have an escapee? Do we have an attempt here? I thought the metal floor would have stopped that! You are absolutely kidding me! The tunnel literally stops right there, so we got... Yeah, see? Yeah, freaking... He's got handcuffs on him now. Guess what, mate? You are going to be a max security. Oh, Supermax, check that out. Oh, crocky. We'll put him on maximum security now because he's being a dick. And we'll send him to solitary for 24 hours. Have a nice day. You shouldn't have been 
Did he? Did, did they manage successfully to dig out? No, I think we got it just in time. I really thought metal floors would stop them digging. I really did. Okay. Alright, just remove tunnel. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Alright, so we're going to have to do shakedowns every, at, least, at least once every few nights now, because now I'm scared. We've had so many attempted escapes. It's not even funny. So, looks like metal flooring is not the way to go. Literally, we discovered that why it was being built. Holy smokes, that's crazy. So, that's almost finished. Shakedown's almost finished. The prisoners are still asleep, so the we, danger level's not out of control. So we need to go back to utilities, and now we got we got power to the pump station here, so we, we can literally run some water off of it now, well we should be able to. Straight down the middle here, big piping, right down the kitchen, right at the end. There. We're not going to touch that, because we're keeping them separate, remember? We, you guys finished? Yep, alright, so we, shakedown is now finished. We don't have really any prisoner intakes, so what we'll do is pause, we need four. Do we need mins? Yes we do, so we'll go to intake. We need, we'll take, there we go. Alright, we'll take that, because we only need one minimum security, because remember, our minimum security wing only got 16 cells, and it says up here when you highlight it that we do have 15. So we need one more extra, and we'll go ahead and get a extra max and an extra normal as well. $2,000, which is handy. Which they will be arriving in two hours now. Okay, alright. Alright, everything's coming together. We're going to have literally electricity down here very shortly. We're going to have to hire a chef, obviously. Alright, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, I think what we'll do now is start setting up our first cells here. Well, that is said that there is all. Oh, did we just lose somebody? I don't know. Crikey. Alright, so hour left on that, that's fine. Alright, what we're going to be doing now is we are literally, we're going to be going to objects and we're just literally, these are, remember, these are very small cells. We're going to be putting a dunny, so we, we could literally put the bed there and the dunny next to it. I think that's what we're going to do. So, bed, 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 there, literally. Bed, oh, oh crikey, bed, bed, bed. And then Dunny, like literally, Dunny there, Dunny there, Dunny there, Dunny there, Dunny there, Dunny there, and there, and there. There we go. Excellent. And I think we're going to put some, uh, we won't put solitary doors, that's freaking expensive as. We'll go ahead and just put jail, normal jail doors, because I don't think they can bust through them, can they? Okay. Alright, so these will be our first cell set up. Ching, ching, ching. Now that we're going to be increasing the prison size, we might have the, we might be able to get the capacity of 100, which is 20 grand, which is going to be handy for us. I'm not sure yet. So now that's done, we can literally run our first lot of smaller pipes, which is in utility. Small pipes, and we're just literally running off the main here. There we go. All right, and I think we'll do the same thing with power. Um, I think these are going to be hooked in by themselves. What's going on here? It's red. Okay, they might be hooked in by themselves. All right, so this is all flashing. Uh, we don't really have any, any, anything hooked up yet. No, we don't. We need some capacitors and stuff on that very shortly. Um, let's go check out how our prisoner pops coming. Any fight breaking out? Any craziness? That's right, we're going to replace the door here, so we're going to dismantle that door. And we're literally going to put in a uh, solitary door. That should do it. Come on, dismantle the door. I'm really worried that they're going to break down the door while I'm gone. Did we tell them to dismantle it already? What's going on? No, hurry up. Come on, dismantle the bloody door already. What's going on? I'm taking absolutely forever to get out of here. Uh, it's in progress, okay. Solitary door. Finally! There. Alright, big shiny door now. Alright, you guys are going good. Now, the top kitchen here is worrying me. What is the difference between these kitchens? 
So look how clean and respectable that kitchen is versus that kitchen there, which is absolutely chockers of stuff. What do we do with all this? I don't know. Alright, how's our maximum security coming? Ooh, shiny. Definitely shiny. Got our beds going in. Our new super, well not super max, but maximum. Crikey. Alright, I think we'll design our first shower down here. So what we're going to do... Um, objects. Now, as you, as you guys know, I haven't assigned a yard here, I haven't assigned a kitchen or nothing yet, only because once you start doing that, prisoners will come up here and use the facilities and we don't want that just yet. Actually, what we're going to do is put some green grass down in here. There we go. And what we'll do is put some paving stones pretty much connecting these two together like that. Fantastic. Awesome. Alright, so back to what we're doing. Let's try to keep an eye on this. We need two more prisoners for the morning. So, intake. See, we've been, been managing this quite well. Do we need a minimum security? No, we don't. So, those two will do just fine. We'll get rid of the maximum and just go for two min, two normals. Not sorry. Okay, so for shower heads, what we'll do. Well, what was that? Alright, so the new grass is in. That looks really shiny and nice. So, shower head, shower head, shower head. Auto saving, shower head, shower, shower. Alright. Okay. So, I literally got a square room of shower heads, which is fine. It's no big deal. And what we'll do is just do drains literally at the door here. Yes, the door here. Here. There. That should do the trick. When I have drains underneath the shower heads, like over here, for some reason, it you think it go right down. So maybe shower head, like maybe drains like just before it. All right, so that's going to be our very first. Oh, we'll go back to utilities now, and we can literally just continue one of these bad boys on and ride around. Okay, let's get rid of one of those. Oh, we don't need it actually. No, I don't really want to make it. Oh, quirky. Connect like that. There. Much better. Alright, so that's going in quite nicely. How's the power situation going? Why? Oh, we, they still need to do a couple of bits and pieces in here before the power, like, goes right through. Which is fine. Alright, so those cells are nice and neat. Little baby shells there. We've got shower down here. And we're going to have a shower up here as well. So we'll do that one as well. We'll think the two front rooms will have showers. I don't know about the back rooms just yet. Um, I think we'll keep the doors where they are. No big, it's not a huge bother there. So let's do that again. Whoa, we got power. Whoa, we lost power. All right, so that would be because the generator is literally capping out right away. See, capping out right away. And we lose power immediately. So we're going to come in here and we're literally going to add some uh, some of these bad boys. There we go. Ouch. They're a thousand bucks each, but that there should deliver quite the big power boost to turn on for this section now. Alright, so back to what we're doing here for a second. Drain. Um, here, 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 here. There we go. Excellent. Is that the same as what we got down there? Yes, it is. Do we want metal detectors coming in and out of the showers? Should we have metal detectors? I don't know. Like, literally, just metal detectors everywhere. So, pop that bad boy. Pop that bad boy. Alright. Excellent. How's the capacitors cut? Oh, they're in. Let's turn, let's, no, they're not in. They're flashing still, sorry. Alright, so as soon as that cut, they, those capacitors come, we'll be able to flick a switch. How is everybody doing up here? We got two coming in the morning, so we should have 74. Cash flow's not doing too bad. We are doing quite well. Absolutely fantastic. See, and up here, what is going on in here? Let's dismantle the bins here. Maybe because I don't think we have bins down here. No. I have installed dual cookers and stuff in there too. I have no clue yet. All right. So, what's he doing? He literally, oh, he runs all the way around. Why? Is it just too crowded? 
I don't know. Alright, so we're getting any, any one of these guys in yet to install these. Ugh, crikey. Alright, so, oh, here we go. Up, 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 up. Come on, guys, move it. So we get this power going. 30 grand left. We're not doing too bad. We've just done the kitchen, the canteen, the yard, the first two slots of shower blocks, and the two first sets of prisons. Oh, cells, sorry, cells. Alright. Installing it. Alright, let's switch the switch. Oh, we have power, and she's stable. Oh, check this out, guys. How shiny is this? This looks absolutely fantastic. Shiny. Alright. So we got everything is coming together quite nicely. Alright, so that needs power. Utility. Um, we need some light out here. Look how bad this is. Utility. Electric cable. Plug it in. Same with this one. Plug it in. How is our kitchen? Yep. Oh, everything seems to be perfect in here. Ready for to take in, um... To literally take in its own own chef, which is going to be good. Or we'll cook. All right, fantastic! Look at that. That is it looks actually quite sexy with the with the dark plating on the floor and the dark um thing. So this is grid. Why does it this grid here look different to the? Do we do the wrong floors? See, look out! Look at this. Look at this floor here. Do we absolutely do the wrong floors here versus this floor? I don't know. Do we have to rip for rip out all these cells? Because seriously, we just nearly had an escapee go on. Crocky. Hmm. We might have to investigate that in the next episode. All right, guys. I think we're going to call it here. Thanks for watching episode twenty of Prison Architect. If you're enjoying the content, don't forget to leave a like. I'll catch you all later.